Hey everybody, Melissa here. So most people are familiar with the find and replace function within Microsoft Word. But what many people might not be aware of is you can use that same function to make changes and match changes to formatting within that same document. You can bold, unbold, highlight, change your font size, color, and so much more. I cannot wait to show you how this works. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's just say we have this document and we want to do some mass format changes. We have some things that are underlined we want to remove, we want to bold some things, we want to highlight some things, or any other formatting changes. So what we're going to do is go to Find and Replace, and we can get there by going Home, Replace, or Control H to bring the box up. Now in our Find What, instead of putting words, we're going to put what formatting we're looking for. So let's just say that we want to get rid of what is underlined, and we want to make this just plain text. So what we're going to do in Find What is go down to Format, go to Font, and what we're looking for is anything that's underlined. So an underlined style, we're going to do the line here, and it'll give us a preview of what it's going to look for. And we're going to tell it OK. And replace with, and make sure you click in there, we're going to go to Format, Font, go back to Underline Style, and tell it None. And then it's going to show us in the preview what it's going to look like when it's done. We're going to tell it OK. And then you can do replace, replace all, or find next. So let's go ahead and hit find next. Now I wanted to show you this because if you have a table of contents, we want to make sure it does not include that in its search because it's going to see this as having underlines, it's going to see it as having characters and other things we may not be able to see, but it's part of the table of contents. So what I'm going to do is come down to my first line outside of the table of contents and I'm going to go to search options and I'm going to tell it down. That way it starts with video and goes to the end of the document. Now I'm going to pull this up so you can see this underline here. And let's go ahead and do replace all. And it says, do you want to continue searching from the beginning? No, we don't because we don't want it to go through the table of contents. So we're going to say no. But if you notice, our underlines, any of them, let me move this, are now gone. Okay, so now let's say we want to do something different. The first thing we want to do inside of our find and replace is with find what selected, we want to say no formatting so that it clears that. And then replace with, we want to do the same thing so that we're starting fresh. So let's just say we want to find the word, I don't know, documents here. Let's say we want to find the word document and we want to bold every instance of document. So if we go to find what, we're going to do document. So we're going to put it in as a word. Replace with, and we're going to go to format, font, and we are going to tell it to bold. Tell it OK. Tell it to replace all. And it's replaced 20 instances of the word document. We don't want to start from the beginning. And if you look, let me move this out of the way. Everywhere we see document, it's made it bold. Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's do a few more. So I'm going to go and remove the word document. And I'm going to tell this no formatting. Let's say that we want to find the word, let's say video. I think it's in here more than once. Let's say that we want to highlight the word video. So we're going to find video. We're going to replace it with format. And we're going to go to highlight. And we're going to replace all. It's done 17 replacements. No, we do not. And look, everywhere there's video, it's highlighted. Let's clear this formatting. Take out the word video. Clear this formatting. If we go to format, we have other things that we can do. We can format paragraphs all at once. We can insert tabs all at once. 
We can change the language. If we want to make this Spanish, we can do it from here. We can do text wrapping, wraparounds, height, position, vertical alignments, and everything from there. And then style, we can add mass headers different places from there. So if we look at font one more time, you can look and see you can do font color, you can do underline colors, you can change the size, you can change the font style, the type, all of that within there. And if we look at special, we can do manual line breaks, we can do manual page breaks, we can do paragraph characters, column breaks, and other things like that. Now, just like in fi regular find and replace, you can tell it what to ignore as well. So within this find and replace box, it's not just for words, it can be a very quick way to change mass formatting for any document that you have. And there you have it. That's how you can make mass formatting changes using find and replace rather than making them one at a time. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Drop me a comment if you have any questions, feedback, or ideas for future tutorials. And be sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Until then, thanks so much for watching.